Hello everyone, my name is Nasa Jackson. As for today, I'm presenting you the second quarter track to Tank Face uh, TDX Tower Defense X. Yeah, enjoy the video. Hi, I'm Tankfish, and I'm being forced at gunpoint to play this game. Welcome to TDX, not to be confused with the government service group that transports missiles with pickup trucks. Silly mistake, I know. It's basically tower defense simulator, but according to John, it's better. Oh. Yeah. As for the lore, nobody knows, but I have a theory. Tower Defense X is actually the sequel of Balloon Tower Defense. The year is 2025. The Brotherhood of Mad, a terrorist group, nuked South America and eliminated all supplies of banana. This starved all the monkeys to death, and now to avenge the monkeys. The GDA, led by Roblox John and Jordan Peterson, is fighting against zombies made by the Brotherhood. But hey, that's just a theory. An LSD overdose theory. There is a vast variety of enemies in this game to hit the diversity quota. You got zombies, bigger zombies, zombies with armors, zombies who think they're John Cena, zombies with common sense who realize that yes, they should probably run, zombies who play League of Legends, zombies that spawn more zombies, zombies that give your towers concussion, and much more, because I'm tired of saying the word zombie. The devs eventually ran out of brain cells and started combining zombies traits and abilities. Why be special when you can be double special? Trust me, eventually there's gonna be a fat ass zombie who's also gonna have armor, but is somehow fast as f Make him invisible too. You know what? Give him a taser gun while you're at it. This guy is on the whole spectrum. Apart from the regular grunts, there's also... Unlike regular enemies who act like punching bags, bosses act like Arcanite enemies. They can fight back. They will hit the towers. It's the whoa, whoa, Roblox whoa, whoa, Predator. Whoa, whoa. He's gonna groom all your towers. He's like a mini boss and he has a single ability. Kill. That's it. SCP-049 looking ass. The war criminal. Convicted in both Leipzig and Nuremberg for the extended usage of gas. Different color of gas have different effect on your towers. Red lowers damage, green and black lower fire rates, and blue reduces range. He's probably the kind of guy who makes a lot of homophobic jokes, but is secretly into man ass because for someone dressed in all black, his abilities are sure pretty colorful. He can also heal by doing a gamer rage and summon murders to stun your towers. This guy is definitely trying to compensate for something. For abilities, he's got a sword slam, it kills people. Rocket burst, it kills people. And flamethrower, it kills people. And makes them medium rare. He's honestly just a big stat stick. Oonga bonga until the ops are boonga gonga. Simple, yet effective. As for which tower the bosses prioritize to unalive the north. Some abilities target the most expensive, some target the area with the most towers, some are RNGs, and I'm too lazy to find out which does what. I'll leave that to the wiki nerds. Thank you for your contribution. That means sadly no. You can't bait every attack from the boss with cheap towers like what you do with gravel from Ark Knight. However, you can spam them around to lessen the chance for your more valuable towers to get hit. So, perhaps you're safe, John. Perhaps you're not. Who knows? This game currently has 15 towers, and each of them has two upgrade paths. Once you get three upgrade in one path, further upgrade for the other path will be locked. Instead of simply telling you what they do, I'm gonna make a tier list so all my fellow meta slaves can live happily ever after. Ranger. Basic unit for early game that goes pew pew. Top path gives him stealth detection, while bottom path allows him to yeet grenades. Grenade! Throw it back, private! Operator is honestly just better. D tier. Operator. Solid early game unit if you don't have laser gunners. It's strong enough so that a few can handle pretty much everything early waves can throw at you. And it's got early detection so you won't get butt by the first stealth wave. I'm legally blind. Bottom path allows him to call in a 1995 Toyota Hilux with heavy machine gun mounted. If you're very in touch with your inner Taliban, you can spam the shit out of it for some happy car accident and... B tier. Shotgunner. Dog sh range mid damage. D tier. 
David Bazooka. It has great damage, AoE, armor pierce, and stealth detection on both paths. Very cracked. Top path gives it giga range and a very high damage on primary target, while bottom path sacrifices range and your wallet for DPS. Personally, I'm a top path enjoyer. I like to spam 4-2 missile troopers and just enjoy the firework. Hello, Biden. It's Zelensky. We need 5 billion rockets to bomb Donetsk children. Slava Ukraini! Perhaps Ukraine did have the perfect tower defense strat against Russia with other javelins. S tier. Mine layer. Setting traps in the back line to prevent leaks. Honestly, why don't you just get good and don't leak? D tier. Sniper. Good early game unit that can still be useful in mid and end game. For example, against these two goobers. Oh no, I can't see. I need AP. Explosion no word. <laughs> Top path makes them absolutely cracked. They get AP bullets and can do Phantom Forces collat. Here we have a pro COD player. He doesn't shower. As for bottom path, it gives them artillery range. Overall solid unit, A tier. Cryo blaster. Freezes enemies. You can choose between AoE, Bing Chilling, or fast single target, Mr. Freeze. C tier, because it doesn't have detection and the freeze is honestly kind of mid. However, if you're feeling Canadian, you can cheese bosses with it. Because if you somehow manage to freeze it, you win. There's nothing he can do. Still C tier though, because you can also just kill it. EDJ. It's a woman, but unlike most women, she women. makes your life easier. <laughs> it's currently the most cost effective tower. If you don't have it, you lose. Her top pathing increases your tower's DPS and her bottom path makes them cheaper. It's like blasting funk music on a battlefield. Why hasn't anyone tried that yet? S tier. John. The main character. The monkey himself. Out of his whole arsenal, decides to bring this. Oh. Bottom path is kinda ass. Top path is overpriced. Like your 0-2 figure 8! His monkey brain doesn't allow him to detect stealth enemies, but despite all that, in higher difficulty modes, you're probably gonna need the monkey rage ability that increases the damage of all nearby towers by 50%. For that alone, A tier, S tier, and being held at gunpoint help. Juggernaut, he's a simple man, he has big gun. S tier, artillery, give the zombies World War 1 PTSD. Top path is okay. Bottom path, however, shit, where do I begin? Range? Yes. Damage? Yes. Blast radius, yes. Cost, too much. I would have given it an A tier if I wasn't a lazy piece of sh. Since you need to manually choose where it targets, B tier. Laser gunner. Top path is basically the sniper top path, but instead of a sniper rifle, you get a laser minigun. In terms of cost effectiveness, sniper is slightly better. But since laser gunners have so much more drip, I gotta give him the dub. Bottom path is just meta. It's a stat stick. Very high DPS with armor pierce and detection. S tier. Farm. There are two types of farm users. There's the one who ends up making fat profits profits and carrying the team by simply having more shits. Behold my stuff. They have a master degree in microeconomy and knows how to balance spending between farming and military. And there's the one who spent all their money on farms early on, then complains about the game being too hard and their teammates too useless because they don't have any towers to defend way f***ing 10. S tier. Patrol boat. For a boat whose job is to patrol, it doesn't detect stealth. You had one f***ing job god damn it the top path gives you missiles and the bottom path gives you a flamethrower both are decent but since you can only place it on water and it can detect stealth b tier it spawns units instead of playing tower defense you'll be playing tower offense go to them before they come to you top path gives you scouts and rail gunners both have detection and rail gunners have ap bottom path is um random bullshit go. Brain dead S tier, especially on certain maps where they can blob up. Warship. EX tier. And that's it. If you disagree with this list, feel free to comment. I won't look at them, but it's really good for the algorithm.